I have no idea where I left this video off uh, in the, this whole process. I started this marshmallow man printing him months ago. Shut up! You don't think Ryan is famous? Cousin Ryan. You gotta... Hey, what's up, YouTube friends and family? It's Cousin Ryan, and I haven't done a 3D printing project with you guys in quite some time. Um, and I started doing one, and I thought I should share this with you because I think it's going to be kind of cool. Even though I'm redoing something I already 3D printed about probably about a year ago, I printed up a Stay Puft Marshmallow Man uh, that was designed by Anthony Liu on Thingiverse, which we have it right here. I blew this up 400% from what the actual like native file was that I downloaded on Thingiverse. Each piece that you see is a different, uh, or I mean each component of this is a separate piece that needs to be printed out. The body's the largest. Um, I've learned a little bit more about 3D printing and orienting things on the print bed to make things larger. So I'm gonna go 450% this time to make him just a little bit larger. And I also want to make him glow in the dark. I'm gonna print everything you see in white here out of glow in the dark PLA. And I'm also going to print all the colored pieces, the blue and then the red out of like a translucent PLA. I don't know how this is gonna work. I don't know how it's gonna look. Um, but I thought at least with the semi-clear PLA, you might see the glow come through. I don't know. I, I thought it'd be worth a try. It might be something kind of fun. So I've already printed one piece out to give you kind of a, a size comparison for how much bigger this is going to be. This is his right leg here. So you can see there's a slight increase in size there. So this next one's going to be a little bit larger. Um, we'll go take a look at what I'm printing right now. I'm doing the body. That's the largest piece. In fact, I think that's the largest thing I've ever printed out. Um, it's going to take well over two days, almost two and a half days to print. Um, maybe close to three days, actually. I don't know. It, it's it's in the process right now. And I noticed there's a little discrepancy between estimated time and what it actually takes. So let's see. What else do I want to say before? Oh, with the, with the glow-in-the-dark PLA. I bought a spool from Hatchbox. And I don't remember the previous brand of glow-in-the-dark PLA that I've had. But I did print out this Slimer. By the way, I will link this Slimer and this Marshmallow Man, uh, the Thingiverse page down in the description. I'll link these items down in the description is what I'm trying to say. So I'm a little bit concerned with the body because it's such a long print. This Slimer was almost two days to print. Again, I'm not like a pro 3D printer, so there might be a way to print these out faster. I'm not sure, but the longer it takes to print something, the more chance you have to have a mistake. And the closer it gets to being completed, you don't want that mistake because then you've just wasted a whole day and a half or two days or whatever. Um, I just wanted to point out, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm trying to get the lighting right. There's a section in this Slimer that the PLA actually printed darker. I don't know if that was a change in room temperature or what, but I probably, knowing how cheap I am, bought the cheapest glow-in-the-dark PLA on Amazon, and maybe that's a, a flaw in the PLA. I don't know, or a variable or variant. Um, so I've gone with Hatchbox, had very good luck with Hatchbox PLAs. So we'll see, hopefully the body prints out well, and then the other pieces we can deal with. I just want to mention one more thing. I decided to print this leg standing up on the print bed, whereas before, I don't know if you can see the marshmallow man here. I had printed his legs laying down like that, and there's some you know support material that needed to be popped off there. So this actually printed absolutely fine with the legs standing up, and I think it actually cut an hour or two off of the print time because there was literally I used no support material for this at all. Even though there's overhangs here, it's it's gradual enough that it didn't need any support material. I did have some purple PLA stuck in the tube that could have taken things apart and pulled it out, but I figured it would be done with, uh, you know, it would be, it would get all the purple PLA out of the print, uh, out of the extruder before it actually mattered and started doing the legs. So luckily I was right. Um, yeah, so this leg took about 11 and a half hours to print, I think. So the body's going to take about three days. This whole thing's going to take almost a week or more maybe to print out. So this will be a video. I mean, it's all going to be one video, but these little segments I show you will be over several days. 
I think I've talked enough now. Let's go check out the progress on the body um, being printed right now. It's about 70% complete, I believe. And then we'll check back in with you guys. You can see we're at two days, two hours and 16 minutes, 74%. And it's looking pretty good so far. I don't know, there might be some color variation in there. Maybe it's just the angle we're looking at, but so far so good all right here we are it's 12 30 in the morning i gotta go to bed we're at 99 percent two days 15 hours and 42 minutes super super close to being finished here and so far it looks flawless if any mistakes are made up here i think we can just roll with it because the marshmallow man's bib covers up or will cover up any mistakes that might happen in that area but I think we're pretty good so I'm gonna go to bed I know I should wait after almost three and a half days or excuse me two and a half days I should stay up and watch this thing finish but it is what it is I have no idea where I left this video off uh, in the, this whole process I started this marshmallow man printing him months ago and it doesn't take months to print this guy but between getting the proper blue that I was looking for the blue PLA and some you know uh, problems I had that I'll go over with and printing some of the other pieces this has been drawn out over a couple of months I think and then you showed up for the summer and things just got out of hand and let's just go over how we got to this point so you can see I, he's a little bit bigger than uh, the previous one that I printed out, I did paint his face by the way, uh, just took a little fine tip brush and some black paint, doing the same for this guy. Uh, one of the first problems I ran into was with printing the arms, I just made a mistake and started printing the arm with no supports. So this part right here was stuck to the print bed and it got all this stringiness and it was flop. Anyway, had to re uh, redo that. Um, the next sort of I don't know if we want to call it a mistake or whatever I now have two marshmallow man heads for this guy this one right here I had printed sitting straight up so you know as the thing as the printer prints it does it in layers and goes up like this but in goofing around with Kira I found that if you printed it on the back of its head on the back of his head it would cut like an hour off of the print time but and this is just maybe my OCD coming in. Uh, the lines going this way on the face gave it a little bit of a different texture than everything else being printed going up like that. So all the print layers on the body and the arms and the legs and everything were all going like this. And his face kind of came to a point, if that makes sense. As it prints this in layers, it all comes up to here. So it gave, it just a, gave him just a little bit of a different texture. I think it does. Now this is the one right here that, uh, I don't know if you can see the difference there or not, but it was painfully obvious when you're looking at it here that there's more of a, a shine mm -hmm. on this face than there is on this one. Um, so there was that. We'll go ahead and put, actually before we get to that, here's half of the head. When I was printing it on the back, you can see my nozzle clogged up. This took roughly 15 hours. The heads take about 14 to 15 hours to print. This was about halfway through it. I got up the next morning and the printer was doing this and going back and forth and there was absolutely nothing there. You can see where the nozzle started to clog up and then it got to the point where nothing was coming out. But the printer keeps going because there's no way for it to sense whether or not it's uh, clogged, or not. clogged or not. So yeah, that was a bummer changed the nozzle, printed some new heads, and we are going to go with this head right here. You want to press it on there? Uh, sure. Like that. Well, Ryder's doing that. I'm going to talk about... That fit on there pretty good. Oh, yeah. Got the, yeah, yeah, it's good. It's all right. Um, the hat was the next trouble. Next problematic part. Probably more, one of the most problematic. It was. I didn't have this trouble with this one. But you can see the top of the hat prints with a hole in it, and then this little knob right here is actually a kind of a pin that prints off the top of here. 
and then you're supposed to be able to just push it through the hole and then it fits together. This one worked perfectly. This one is 400% of the original model. This one's 450%. I don't know if that extra 50% changed anything or not. Maybe. But I don't know how many of these, it just, that's as far in as it would go. I even tried printing these 2% larger because it was such a fine tolerance that I thought well, we'll make this just not noticeably larger, but large enough that the pin would go through. It just wouldn't do it. it. Wouldn't do it, wouldn't do it. Kept snapping the pins off and they'd get halfway in and you'd try to pull them out and they'd break. Tried sanding it, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, what we ended up doing was I broke, this pin actually broke off and I just glued this all together. So it was a little bit of a cheat, but you know, put the hat on. That's just gonna stay in, is it? It might sit there if we're careful. Sitting. There we go. So that's kind of it. Um, again, did this in glow in the dark. This guy was just white PLA. Went with what they call translucent blue and uh, red for the button or the the button, the bow on the front. Thought maybe the glow would. I knew it wouldn't be perfectly clear, but I thought just a little bit clear. Maybe the glow in the dark PLA would glow through this if it was a little bit transparent or translucent um but it's not it's not it's not i knew it wouldn't be completely clear but it wasn't as clear as i hoped it would be i guess but um yeah i don't really have anything else to add i am happy with how this turned out i definitely like it better with the painted face um that was a little tedious and time consuming especially those little thin lines around his eyes um yeah what do you think right it's very large <laughs> it is huh what do we have around here we can compare it to i had a vankman here he is here's a plasma series by hasbro a vankman figure so you can kind of get an idea of the scale um of these two marshmallows like feet to feet is he out of out of frame no he, i didn't see him like this. Straighten his legs all the way up. That gives you an idea right there of how tall yeah, this marshmallow even like, is. Kind of like spaced out or whatever. Mm -hmm. They don't look that different. It's, I mean, if they're further I know, spaced, looking, but... looking in the monitor, these look closer in size, I think, than they are. Yeah, I know, but then the, when you put them right next to each other, there's like... There is a little bit of a difference. Well, I mean, there's a significant difference. Yeah. But... All right. But to the naked eye, not necessarily. The naked, the naked eye. There, we even got an extra little marshmallow man head there. Yeah. Cool. I am happy with how this finally turned out, though. Took us longer to get there than I wanted it to, but I am really, uh, really pleased with how it finally turned out. Yeah. So, I guess that's it. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out with us, and until next time, be excellent to each other. See ya. You know, sir, it's Cousin Ryan on the Hollywood Boulevard. You know, sir, he's bigger than any superstar. All of us meet you some, some real to a bar. Show them sweeter than any chocolate bar. Boom! Hey.